Thank you, Dr. Thomas. Okay, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I was invited relatively late due to some changes in our company. You know, my, my boss said, we really should do this, but I don't know if I can go, can you go? So, uh, <laughs> but what's interesting is that short notice really made me focus on what I want to talk about. And what was also very interesting is, you know, both presentations prior represent somewhat of the same discussions and comments we're going to make, just a slightly different bend. Radiology has always changed. It will continue to change. Technology, work patterns, regulatory reimbursement. We heard about all that today. You know, that very first image was the, the, the poor old guy who got radiated while looking at a chest x-ray, uh, up to now using uh, iPads, iPhones, or other mobile technologies in dissemination of information. Not only that, but mobile technologies are only a step along the process. We truly believe that the iPad today will be replaced by some device tomorrow. It's only a, a step along the way, and if we focus on what we have today, as we said, you know, with the technology changing at light speed, if we focus on what we have today, we're going to miss the curve moving forward. What's also interesting is that, you know, right now there's been a hundred and some percent change in the use of mobile technology across healthcare in the, in the recent past. There are 44,000 mobile healthcare apps available in the world today. 12,000 of them are available on the iPad store. So mobile technology really is part of healthcare practice if we want to believe it or not. Within the radiology world, we present a whole other focus upon that. We present a whole other challenge upon that. However, we have to accept that this is part of our use case moving forward. We need policies to manage the risk management and prevent data breaches. We talked about that before. We need policies to address the devices. This is a BYOD environment. We're not going to be able to focus on one technology and say, you know, use this going forward. Not only from a perspective of it will change tomorrow, but also if you do that, how does the hospital maintain that product going forward when next week it's outdated and not, not available? That's another piece to consider. And the lack of proliferation of the relevant apps. I mean, this is part of our daily practice. Ultimately, the mobile device is really about workflow and how we can improve the workflow within both the Department of Radiology and within the patient care continuum. How do we get information from that patient through that scanner, through that radiologist, to that clinician? You know, a great example is it doesn't matter how beautiful the image is until the results in the hand of the patient, of the provider taking care of that patient, it is meaningless. Until we get that information to that end point and that end decision, we didn't provide any real value to the process. But how do we do this and maintain the relative value of the radiologist? How do we improve upon that? If you're locked behind some door and, and, and off in the, into the distance, there becomes a question of, you know, what value did that add into that decision? So we really see that the mobile the technology brings the portability back to it. Not only can it allow you to transport the image as you could with film in the past, but it also allows you to do it much faster. It allows you to be collaborative with the end user. You know, the, the family practitioner who has a question that I read the, re I read the report but I'm not quite sure what it means. It's much easier to have them look at the same image you're looking at and explain that to them in more detail or explain what you should do next in more detail if you're looking at the same image than if you're just looking at a, a text-based report. Image is worth a thousand words and healthcare it's even worth even more. Referring physicians need reference viewers. They're becoming more and more adept. The other day there was a study, uh, an article posted in the New York Times about how one physician who's been in practice for a long time uses the computer as a backup device where a third year resident uses the iPad in such an innocuous way, patients don't even realize that he's typing throughout this device because they look at it. So we have, we're going to have to embrace that going forward. Our users are becoming more technology specific, much more technology focused, and then we have to figure out how we can bring that into this piece. So what we think we have to do is not look at the technology. We're going to allow radiology, the American College of Radiology, the FDA, to define how and what technology can be used 
and how it can be used. However, we have to figure out from the industry side is how we can make it more appropriate or a better use within the space. You know, mobile technology is only valuable if it maximizes the value of technology to improve patient safety. Or it improves the financial performance and quality, the ACO model. How do you, how do you now approach into a different space and make this technology more practical in that application of the patient care continuum? Connect and coordinate care. Here, another great application for the mobile technology, allowing everybody across that care continuum to see the same information without having to go to some location to see that information, allowing for more uh, rapid intervention at the point of care. And then finally, to manage the advanced patient payment models, quality population continuum of care. You know, the, the models have changed dramatically and will continue to change dramatically. So really, in summing it up, it really comes down to that what we need as an industry to provide is the application of consumer technology to the practice of radiology. As an industry, we can't say we're going to come up with a better device than Apple or we're going to come up with a better device than Galaxy. It's not going to happen. The consumer technology and the consumer use of these devices is so prevalent in society and develops it so fast, we have to be able to not adapt to, but flow along with it. If we continue to try to adapt, we're always going to be, be behind. Let's figure out a way that we can flow with the technology as it goes forward and become ubiquitous into that space. Our application should be the same across any device out there, across any uh, I, you know, operating system out there. Let us make it work you know, similarly and let the technology in the consumer space define what that next level of technology is. And really, the key is workflow. It's driven by IT. Technology will continue to evolve. We want to improve information flow, decreasing costs, and hopefully improving the access to experts. We believe this is one of the spaces that mobile technology and the industry can provide back to the, the college and to our patients is by getting information out of the black box and into the public space where it's used in caring of that patient at a particular time. And really, at the end of the day, mobile technology is just a tool and a plethora of tools that you will need to use uh, in many different applications and many different use cases. That's all I had, and I thank you very much. All right.